Our structure is that of a true network. We're an umbrella organization for 125 nonprofits all around Virginia. And there's a great diversity in terms of the scope of those organizations. Um, Mark is here from Citizens for Fort Monroe National Park. They're a member of Virginia Conservation Network. Garden Club of Virginia, which some of you may be a part of, is also a member of Virginia Conservation Network. Many land trusts, um, Piedmont Environmental Council, and, and other land trusts are part of our network. River organizations, Chesapeake Bay Foundation, and of course, energy activists, uh, groups like Sierra Club and Chesapeake Climate Action Network. So, uh, a broad scope uh, of issues fall under our environmental conservation umbrella. Our focus is on state policy, um, particularly the General Assembly, also uh, regulatory actions and agency actions in the state of Virginia. We are a consensus builder, and we're a convener of record for those member organizations. And in essence, what we do is aggregate power. We pool the resources, we pool the know-how from those 125 nonprofits, and we pool their grassroots, and we aggregate that together to be more powerful. Uh, we publish annually our, our common agenda in a conservation briefing book, which is over there, which I forgot to bring up to the podium. Gene is holding it up. Thank you, Gene. Um, and so we give that, that book to our, our citizen activists. We give that to every legislator in the General Assembly, to the agency heads in the administration. And I wish I could say all of them read it. I know some of their aides read it. But uh, they have it, and it's an educational piece to elevate those issues. Um, and it puts us clearly on record. I will point out that we're, we're acting as uh, concerned citizens and as, as conservation advocates, not as partisans or political advocates. So it's, it's looking very important that we have a record of positions that we speak from uh, in order that we not be misperceived as, as speaking for political reasons. We are um, assiduously nonpartisan and, and apolitical. So that's uh, who we are and kind of what we do process-wise. <coughs> now I'd like to take just a few minutes to talk some about, uh, about this nexus between conservation and preservation so that we can begin thinking about ways to collaborate going forward. 19.2 billion. Does anyone know what that number is? Does anyone recognize that number? Tourism. Yes. That's the annual uh, economic impact of tourism in Virginia, 19.2 billion. And I think that's a really important number that sort of demonstrates uh, power we have in this room, sort of untapped. Think about it. Why do people come to Virginia? Well, they don't come here to go to Bush Gardens. They might go to Bush Gardens while they're here, but they come here to go to historic Jamestown. Um, they, they come here to go to the Blue Ridge Parkway or to the Virginia Beach. The drivers of tourism of that $19.2 billion industry are either our historic resources or our natural resources. And I don't think that we have, uh, as communities or a community, uh, been as forceful and as loud as we should in asserting the importance of protecting those really economic engines for the Commonwealth. 